Marijuana smoke has many of the same chemicals as tobacco smoke and may increase the chances for developmental problems in your baby. Dr. Helen Rodriguez, who specializes in obstetrics and gynecology at Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center, talks about the dangers of using cannabis during pregnancy. Cannabis has a lot of chemicals in it, really the most active of which is the THC. That is the one that uh, gives you the high, just as it has effect on the adult brain or the person that might be, the mother that may be smoking. It also uh, gets into the maternal bloodstream, which then transfers it to the baby's bloodstream. And so it has significant effects also on the baby's neurological makeup, the baby's brain that is growing also is exposed to the THC. There is evidence of serious consequences to the baby from THC exposure. More babies deliver prematurely. We have more babies that are smaller when they're born than those that, that have not been exposed to maternal uh, cannabis exposure. Also, sometimes the babies are more fidgety, like they're missing something, so they're more restless when they're born. And now there's some data that shows that they actually don't do quite as well in the early years of schooling. They don't really appear to have as much ability to concentrate, so they're more distractible. So when you're not able to concentrate, you don't learn as well. So, so those are some of the things that are being looked at as being found more often in babies that are exposed to that THC during pregnancy. Dr. Rodriguez has seen an increase of cannabis use during pregnancy since it was legalized in California. You know, when something is legal, you think that it's okay. And that really, even though the legality of it has changed, really the science has not. We don't have any more or any different data today that it's legal than we did 15 years ago when it was not legal. And when people see something being legal, they think that it's safe. But really, it's no safer today to use during, use during pregnancy than it was before it became legalized. We see many patients that come in that have marijuana in their system, and they come in and deliver prematurely, or they may have separation of the placenta. Uh, and whether or not you can attribute it directly to the marijuana, it's hard to tell when you're just looking at the patient. But you know, if we don't see any other reason why those things are happening, and the patient is positive mar for marijuana, you have to presume that maybe there was something, some link with it. The strength of marijuana now is much greater since being legalized. In the past, marijuana used to be grown widely, was not grown professionally, so there was only a small amount of THC, maybe three, four, five percent of THC in the compound that you were using. Now it's being grown professionally, and uh, the amount of THC has been found to be as high as 25 percent, which means that it is much stronger, there's much more THC in the uh, products that are being consumed today, and it is the THC that can do harm to the brain. So we're very concerned about the effect that it's going to have on the babies of mothers who smoke it.